Hello there, my name is Ismaus and welcome to another Blender tutorial. And uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, how to create uh, a spider web uh, in Blender. So this was a tutorial request by Tom, uh, I, I'm sorry I can't pronounce your, your second uh, name, uh, but uh, one of my patrons. And uh, yeah, you can also become a patron and support me that way and uh, request any tutorials or models you want. Yeah, so let's get started on uh, this. Uh, as you can see, I tried, this is uh, a bit, doesn't have as much uh, detail as I want it to be, but uh, if you wanted to add more, maybe strands or whatever, uh, you can just select one edge, one vertex, and another, hit F, and uh, subdivide that. Now, when you play back, it will become part of the web and also get simu simulated like that. So and that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, you can be as detailed as you want, but uh, let's first set up uh, the, the web, uh, the core web. And this time, let me find a different reference image. Uh, let me get that from my second computer. Okay, this time we're going to go for something like this, maybe. Uh, so, yeah, let's try going for this sh shape here. So let me just expand this just a bit. And start with uh, uh, the shape of the stick. You don't have to be too fancy with it. Add a few details in like that. So we go to this side as well. Turn on proportional editing. Have this selected as well. Drag them on this side. Okay, this is going to be our stick, and now we can add a skin modifier. A skin modifier to this. Control A in edit mode will shrink uh, the width like that. Maybe we want the tips to be a bit thinner. Again, Control A to do that. Yes, so this is our stick, and now let's start working on the web. So for the web, let me add plane. Turn on random colors as well here. I don't need, uh, you only need to work with edges, so you can select one point here, connect it to there, and another one to there. Let's also make sure this is connected, well connected in all, in the 3D space, so something like that. So this is going to be this web here, and uh, we need it to be subdivided because we're going to be using uh, the cloth simulator and uh, yeah i think that's good enough and uh, so if we go to the cloth simulator play bar everything will just fall down and uh, we need to set a pinning group so select two of the vert two vertices i like that and go to vertex group assign and uh, now go to the cloth simulator and a shape set uh, the group we have just created as the pinning group and see now we have created that. Let's also extrude one vertex from there to connect at around the thing could be here. So just extrude, extrude. Uh, you can also just use control click and it should extrude uh, to where you have clicked. Something like that. And uh, now select this, subdivide it a few times. And if you play back, uh, so what will happen if you uh, if you extrude from a pinned vertex, uh, all the ex all the duplicated all subdivisions will also be in that vertex in the pinned group. Uh, if you go to the object data and then select the pinning group, you can see all these vertices are also still in the pinning group. So we can select them and remove them from that pinning group. Uh, that way, they are affected uh, by the cloth simulator. So this is what we want, but now 
right now we're not rendering uh, the width or thickness of the webs. So to do that, just go to the modifiers and add a skin modifier. Uh, make sure it's below uh, the cloth simulator. So let's scale this down. I'm using all. I'm using Control A to scale the thickness down to about there. Let's see. You can also turn on smooth shading here. And, uh, if you want, you can make it even smoother. Sm sorry, smaller like that. Uh, this here, there's a lot of tension here. So what I'm going to do is select one of uh, the middle vertices, turn on proportional editing, and uh, push that to the inside. Uh, that should make it a bit looser, like that. Uh, I can also start extruding more vertices around here, and uh, maybe to there, and back to there. Uh, these all need to be subdivided, but uh, before we do that, let's continue with a few more these inside loops so for the inside loops i guess we can add a, a circle but uh let's view 3d but uh let's have fewer vertices around i think eight is enough scale that down make sure you don't have proportional editing turned on I see they don't have thickness, so you just need to select one of the edges and then mark root. Sorry, mark root to give that a thickness as well. So make sure that uh, they're all the same thickness. I like that. If you play back, that will just fall off because it's not attached to anything. So but I also want it to align with our cloth see again it's not attached to anything so let's duplicate a few of these let's kill them and then i can get this attached to that select the vertices and hit f to attack them to connect them uh, like so then if i play back it's just falling apart you just need this connected and that Just go in and start connecting different vertices like that. Just select one, one vertex, and then the other, and hit F. So some edges need to be subdivided even more. Let's see what is going on here. sure what's going on here hmm. if I subdivide this and see it doesn't seem to like uh, this kind of three point connection it's okay here i'm not sure maybe let's first mark loose remove all the vertices and they just select one vertex and uh, mark as root which is not fixing the problem if i undo i guess i'll just remove this connection if it's what called if it's causing a lot of issues let's delete that page as well let's see if i connect this here Okay, and this, great. Let's try again here. Okay, that's still an issue. And that is creating an issue too. I see what about this and uh, this. Those are okay. Uh, 
let me first delete that edge reconnect it subdivide it and see if this would fix it is not this edge again connect this subdivide push it and then okay that works playback we don't have enough resolution in this so I need to start subdividing all the parts that uh, don't have enough vertices like that subdivide a few times think if you connected this to like that yeah so my computer is getting becoming a bit laggy right now but uh, this is the entire concept you just have to add more subdivisions and uh, let's first turn off the skin modifier because uh, it's what make it is making this a bit laggy and uh, I think if we connected this with this F can remove these edges I think I can leave them there maybe not okay so Whenever you subdivide, uh, make sure you go back to the group, vertex group, and select again to see uh, what your pinning groups look like. Uh, right now, you can see some of these edges are being pinned uh, when we don't want them to be pinned. Uh, so select everything, remove the pinning group, then repin the, eight, the vertices you want pinned. And assign. Great. have this connected to this vertex and uh, maybe this here I think I need more vertices here so connect this to that subdivide that as well you can see how that is starting to look good uh, this is I think I can remove this connection to make this a bit loose I think this hanging vertex, loose vertex, uh, or edge is is good for the detail. So I think I can also have this connected to this here. Add a few subdivisions. I don't like how this makes everything straight. Now let's play back again. So you can add in a few loose vertices or edges of strings like that to make things more interesting I think I can add another uh, strand that goes around here so let's do that so I can I need this subdivided a few times so I can have this connected to this like that and there and uh, then there and these also need to be subdivided a few times let's see I think this here needs to be subdivided as well I 
can also push it down just a bit. Uh, you can turn on proportional editing, but have connected only uh, turned on. So you can push these to kind of make that a bit looser. And I, th I think this is also, this should also be a bit looser like that. So perfect. And I think we can have a few connections like that. Is connected to that. And, uh, something like that. I think can do with some subdivisions here. Yeah, so you just continue with that until you get the design you want. Uh, remember to reduce the thickness of this you just use ctrl a in edit mode and uh, that should reduce uh, the thickness but uh, it's going to slow down on my machine but uh, i think yeah how you can i think uh, yes, i have easily explained how you can set this up so i'll stop the tutorial here thank you for watching